Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Today we're gonna to be out doing some trout fishing. I'm trying a brand new stream, never tried this before. And hopefully we can catch some brooks or some browns. You can keep three over eight inches here. And if we actually catch some fish here, which I'm hoping we do and I'm, I'm thinking we can, we're gonna do a little catch clean cook on some uh, wild trout. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Man, we need to clean out this truck. Let's see. Waiters. I need some boots. It is a chilly morning out. God dang. Also gonna need this bad boy. Guys, it's been a hot minute since I've done some trout fishing. Fortunately for me today, it's kind of cloudy conditions in the water. I guess that's not really fortunate. We got some rain. So I'm going to use a darker rooster tail spinner. But I can't really wear my glasses today because it's not really going to assist me because there's zero sunlight. I wonder if there's some under this bridge. Well, everybody, it's a mid-morning update. First stream was absolute trash. I think that was the worst trout stream I've ever fished in probably this whole year, or pretty much in general. There was nothing but big creek chubs. So I'm coming to a new spot. Hopefully I can land some trout here. So wish me luck, guys. I'm gonna need it. All right, guys, so we're at the new stream here. This looks really deep. I don't know if that's good or bad. Oh, I just had a little follow. Here we go. Oh. So what do we have here? Holy crap, this is a tiny little brookie. Just a tiny little feller. Beautiful colors though. Just wanna... There we go, he's got a nice safe release. But hey, this is really good. This means there's actually fish in this body of water. So we're at our third trout fishing spot. Second one was really skinny and really deep and there was so much overgrowth that it was freaking hard to walk around. So we're at this other spot where I know there's actually fish at. So hopefully we can um, catch some browns or some brooks. So let's try and catch some fish this time. Well, ladies and gents, we are back to the uh, fourth. Yeah, I think we're at the fourth trout stream. This is also another one that I've never fished before. So we're just trying to find some fish. It's pretty much what today's goal was, trying to 
trying to find a good trout stream. I know for a fact this is a good stream, but I have not fished this section of it. So down from here, like farther down river, I've caught some really nice trout. So I'm trying this section farther up river, which I've never fished before and I rarely have ever seen anyone here. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I know downstream there's some huge fish. I've caught my 15 inch PB brook trout and uh, I also told a guy I work with about it because he gives me a bunch of trout fishing tips too, but he caught a 17 inch brown there which is a nice brown. Browns obviously get bigger, but we're gonna try and catch some freaking fish right here. I'm, my freaking hopes are up there right now. I'm hoping there's a freaking tank hidden out here in the, out here in the weeds someplace and uh, it's ready to bite my freaking treble hook. So let's go catch some fish. Oh, we got a fish. No way. That's a nice one too. Oh, a nice little brown. That's pretty awesome right there. There we go, we got another one. Doesn't feel huge. Oh, it's just a little brookie. Come down, little buddy. There we go, this is a decent one. Oh yeah, holy crap. Buddy, there we go, that's another nice brown. I've never caught so many browns out of here. It's kind of weird. So it's actually the next day I ended up fishing pretty late. We caught the two brown trout and today we're gonna cook them up. I have my two cleaned trout. I lopped the heads off them and I uh, bled them out last night. But I made my own little blend of spices here. and try and get them in there. My own homemade seasoning. This smells absolutely delicious. Let's eat some fish. See how this stuff tastes.
It actually has a lot of flavor. That is not bad at all. I would definitely eat this again. So what it was, it was a homemade, I think it was a Cajun, yeah. Like a Cajun uh, spice recipe. I just looked it up on the internet. If you guys want, I think, I'll probably leave it in the description, what was all in it. It's not even spicy. I was hoping to get a little spice out of it, but it's not spicy at all. It's just, it's like perfect. There's like just tons of flavor. The only thing I think I could have done a little bit better is I wonder if I were to cook one of these trout without the skin on it and put the seasoning directly on the meat itself. That way it would actually, kind of like chicken. You know how a lot of people just leave the fat on it, season the fat, and then like the chicken really doesn't gain the flavor of what seasoning you put on. Whereas if you cut the fat off and just take the piece of chicken breast and you put the seasoning directly on it, the meat itself has more flavor. I think I'm gonna have to do that next time. Try it. Otherwise, you just... Got a few bones in there. But, yeah, otherwise the skin is the only thing with the real flavor on it. The meat does have some flavor, but not, not quite as much as I hope. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I upload videos weekly, so... There's going to be more fishing action in the future. See you guys next video.